Hello, this is Charlie from HotTipsCentral.com and I'm here to tell you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 4 or your iPhone 3GS uh, down to a previous firmware. I get this request all the time. People want to know how do you downgrade your firmware and then they're, they're kind of confused and then they go ahead and they try it when I talk to them and it just doesn't work out. Maybe they, they, they missed a step or they didn't use Tiny Umbrella right or whatever. And so I'm here to set the record straight kind of just to show you guys with a quick video how this works. And uh, to do that, uh, we're going to set up, uh, I'll, I'll just set up kind of what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get this out. You're going to need a few uh, tools. The first tool you're going to need is Tiny Umbrella. This is absolutely essential to this process. Um, if for those of you who aren't familiar with how uh, SSA or SHSH blobs actually works, it's essentially just taking uh, the unique identifier number, it's a, or it's a number, a combination of numbers and letters. It's unique to your device. It's in your hardware, and it's whenever you oh, download a firmware from Apple, Apple needs to sign that firmware. This is a, this is true for uh, iPhone 3G. That's 4.0 or later. Uh, iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4, as well as uh, the latest models of the iPod Touch and both iPads. Um, they need to sign that firmware, and if they don't sign it, you're not allowed to downgrade to it. They don't let you downgrade. It's perfectly possible to downgrade, they just don't allow you to. So don't let them fool you when they say it's not possible, because it is. Because we're about to do it right now. We're going to use the Tiny Umbrella tool. If you're not familiar with how the SS, uh, SHSHs work, uh, click the link in the description. That should tell you some more information on that. Um, other than that, though, uh, let's get started. My phone right now is currently running iOS 4.3.1. It is the latest firmware, um, and I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys right here. If I can get my little face out of the way. You'll see why he's there later, and I'm going to get this text message out of the way, too. People are texting me. I am on iOS 4.3.1. Go ahead and open up my settings here, just kind of show you guys. There's location services right there, and if I go to general and about, you will see, I'm trying to block my serial number, and right there, you will see iOS 4.3.1 right there. And also it's important to note, because I'm going to show you guys how to, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade without without uh, upgrading your baseband too, so that you can still unlock. I, I can't talk, it's really late. But uh, if you can see, I'm trying to block my rest of my information here, but if you can see this, I'm also running... Uh, you get real close to the camera, maybe. Whatever, I don't care if you see it. <laughs> it is, wow, I can't get it there. 021004. That is my baseband, which is not the latest baseband. That's the baseband from like two, three firmwares ago. And so this process is going to be really simple. We're just going to go ahead step by step and show you guys how, it's, how it works. Okay, so now you see why the little red face is there. It's blocking my serial number and phone number. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure you backed up your phone. Uh, you can do that by just simply hitting the sync button, and it will do its syncing process, whatever. Um, if you're downgrading, you won't be able to actually use the backup. Uh, some, sometimes you can. It depends on which firmware you're going from. But uh, for the most part, at least 4.3.1, you're not going to be able to use the backup when you go to a firmware like, say, 4.1, because the backup is from a future firmware. It's not going to work. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing it. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and run Tiny Umbrella. That's the, that's the next step. So we're going to quit iTunes, and I'm going to go ahead and get iMovie out of my way so that you guys can see it. Let's just hide iMovie. Boom, get that out of my way. Okay. And get this. I didn't hide it at all, did it? All right, let's just quit. I don't care. <laughs> all right. Tiny Umbrella. We're opening it up. Tiny Umbrella is a program that's used to communicate with uh, an outside server, Sorex server, uh, which is the creator of Cydia, George, uh, Jay Freeman, and he is going. His servers are going to communicate with your phone, and basically, what we're doing when we say start TSS server is we're essentially tricking iTunes into thinking it's communicating with Apple, but it's really communicating with Sorex server instead. And his server is going to sign our firmware, which allows us to install it. The reason why SHSH blobs are important is because, and these are all mine, uh, the reason why this is important is because you're able to take that little signed part, because Apple's already signed this, and it's just going to relay that to Surik so he can you know, verify it. It's kind of a really complicated system. Honestly, I'm probably wrong in a few things I'm saying because I don't fully understand it myself because um, I'm just an end user like all you guys are. Um, but this is the tool that we're going to end up using. 
and this is how it works. We're essentially just going to say start TSS server, and that's going to start running. And when you get to, if you go to the log tab, and you see this right here, that's how you know it's running. This is how you know it's working. Is that you see that check mark in the log tab? You know it's working. And so for that, we're going to go ahead and start iTunes back up. And try to get it to where it blocks my serial number here. It ain't going to work. I don't care. Anyway, so that's that. The second part we're going to do is we're going to need to use our previous version firmware to install on our phone. Now, I have on my desktop over here uh, a couple of tools. Some of these tools we're not going to use right now. That'll be for the next video I'm going to make just really quick. But um, this is the firmware I'm going I'm to reinstall to. I'm going to install to iOS 4.2.1. Um, so that's the previous firmware, and I'm going to downgrade. Now, I'm not able to do this without those SH, SH blobs saved, which I have them saved, so it's going to be okay. So we're into iTunes. We're going to go into, you know, there's really no way to get this. Let's just do this. That's really cool album art, right? Let's just play a song. <laughs> I don't care. I just, I just don't want you guys to see my information. There's a good song, Hell's Bells. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to open up my phone menu here. There we go. There it is. And we're just going to hold down, on a Mac, you're going to hold down the Option key and hit Restore, but on a Windows computer it's going to be the Shift key. So hold down this, hold down Option and hit Restore. And that's going to tell, that's going to prompt this window, it's where you can select where your firmware is. So on the desktop I'm going to find that firmware that I'm looking for, that's uh, 4.2.1 which is right there and we're gonna go ahead and hit choose and it's gonna it's gonna warn you so it's gonna race and restore it to this firmware that's what we want and as long as you still have TSS server running make sure that's still running as long as that's still running you're good to go so go ahead and hit restore and the phone will go ahead and do its thing Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip a little bit in the video here because we're kinda of running short on time I'm talking too much so uh, when I come back, we'll have this phone almost completely restored to 4.2.1. I'll come back in just before it gets finished. Okay, we're back, and you can see in front of your face right now, we've got the iPhone 4 could not be restored, uh, the big infamous 1013 error. Uh, for those of us who have been in the jailbreak scene for a little bit, uh, the 1013 error is completely normal. We're used to it by now. We, we laugh at it. Um, this error basically is set in place by Apple to say, hey, wait a second, your firmware doesn't match the baseband that's supposed to be with your firmware. What's going on? You don't normally get this error if you restore and let the baseband upgrade with it, normally. To fix this, and again, this is because my baseband doesn't match the firmware's baseband. To fix this normally, before, what we could have done is we could have hit, uh, we can go ahead and stop the TSS server, now we don't need it running anymore. We could have before uh, put the phone into recovery mode and then hit exit recovery. This process does not work with Tiny Umbrella anymore. I'm going to go ahead and just stop this thing from bouncing because it's kind of annoying. Where's my, where's my blocker? There it is. Alright, so it's kind of annoying. So. What we're going to do instead to get it out of recovery mode is we're going to use a little uh, terminal command, a little terminal script that's going to let us do it. So I'm going to close Tiny Umbrella. We no longer need it open. I'm going to minimize iTunes real quick, and I'm going to shove my iMovie out of the way. What we're looking to do is go into a, uh, a little tiny little thing called Fix Recovery. Uh, this is found if you, again, visit the article in the description. Of the video and all this information, all the links, all the downloads, all the tools you need that are right there on my desktop will be available to you right then and there. But essentially there's two files. Uh, one's used for 4.3.1 and one is used for 4.2.1 and that's the one we're going to look for because that's the firmware I just downgraded to. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click that and that's and what we're going to need, we're going to need to open up Terminal. So go ahead and open up Terminal and you're going to have a Terminal script right here in front of you. And this is how easy this is, really. You're just going to take that file from 4.2.1 and you're going to drag it into the terminal. And then, before you hit enter, there's, some, there's one step you're going to need to do. You're going to need to place your phone in DFU. This script requires that it's in DFU. 
So, and again, maybe I'm not even using the correct terminologies. I'm not a programmer. So if I'm saying script and it's supposed to be saying something different, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and just hold down both buttons, power and home. As soon as you see the screen go off, count to two. One, two, release power, keep the home button held down. And as soon as iTunes pops up and says, boy, you got a phone in recovery mode, that's when you know you're in DFU. So there it is. We have an iPhone in recovery mode. Yep, I know. And that's what we want. Now we have it in DFU. This It looks as if it's off, but it's not. It's in recovery mode. It, a type of recovery mode. It's in DFU. Go ahead in that script and go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to see that it's going to do a bunch of cool stuff to the phone. It's going to do a whole bunch of uh, commands for you. And this thing's getting in my way. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that. You won't get those errors. You're going to get this. The iTunes is going to pop up on you all the time. Just ignore it the best you can. Just go ahead and ignore it. Yes, we know. We know. But essentially, my phone has a big white screen in front of it now, and it's doing a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, if iTunes keeps popping up in your face, just ignore it for now. It gets kind of annoying sometimes. just to make sure that that is in the way of my information when it pops up. That's the only reason that's up there. And there it goes. It finishes its little deal. And your iPhone will now boot up successfully in iOS 4.2.1. So we have a successful downgrade. There you go. There's the emergency call screen. And accessing iTunes. And now you have an option to set it up as a new phone, or you can uh, store from a backup, anything you want to do. At this point, it's a brand new phone, restored, factory settings. Uh, again, I'm gonna look at, hey, you can take a look at this, just go ahead and slide it. And again, it's, it's as factory as it comes. And I'll go ahead and show you the firmware just so you can be, again, you can notice right now also that, man, I can't decide where the camera is. You can also, also that I don't have that, uh, that location services menu underneath the Wi-Fi anymore. And the about screen shows 4.2.1. So there you go, 4.2.1. And my carrier is still, my, my baseband is still 210.04. So in the next video, uh, which you can find by clicking the link right here, and that video will show you how to upgrade your iPhone 4 from any firmware you want to the latest version, 4.3.1, and then jailbreak with red snow. And it's going to do all of that without updating the baseband.